what I learned from him above all else. And I think the other students who went through Chicago would have similar uh, reflections. That economics was something serious. This was not a game to be played by clever academics. This was valuable analysis that helped us understand many aspects of the real world. He had no interest in theory for its own sake, but for him theory was an engine analysis, a phrase he liked to use that he said he got from Alfred Marshall, but he used it over and over again, an engine of analysis to understand real world problems. This intimate relation between theory and the real world was not common at that time. And sometimes it's not common even to this day. But it had enormous influence on all of us who went to Chicago and ultimately on the profession. He practiced what he preached in his own writings. I consider his book, Theory of the Consumption Function, his most impressive, innovative, and complete contribution to the science of economics. It actually was stimulated in good part by an earlier paper by Rose and Dorothy Brady on consumption. And Milton built on that paper in a variety of different ways. The book assaulted an aspect of Keynesian economics on the relationship between consumption and income. But it was much more than that. It was an impressive, and at that time I would say unprecedented, combination a basic, simple economic theory, not very complicated, but insightful. Extensive analysis of a variety of data, not just one piece of data, but data from all aspects of consumption. And that combined with care in how he related the data to the theory. That threefold combination was a tour de force and a, a great book to this day recognized as a great book. It went into Keynesian consumption income relations, but a great deal of detail. Uh, do blacks save more than whites? It was thought to be so, but he showed it was simply a misunderstanding of what income drove people's behavior. Do urban and rural people differ? Not really, he said. Do occupations differ? Reading that book was reading science, economic science, as his highest level.